Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see a problem on construction of analytic function. So, solution. So, the given uh, function, they have given real part that is u is equal to e raised to minus x into x square minus y square into cos y plus 2xy into sin of y. But here uh, I need to go for a partial derivative. So, just I will expand this bracket or u will be e raised to minus x, x square into cos y. So, minus y square into cos y plus this 2xy into sin y. Now, for this I will go for what here? Uh, partial integration, uh, differentiation. So, on differentiating with respect to x and y partially. So, on with respect to x partially means we will get ux is equal to. So, we will differentiate this with respect to x partially. So, therefore, e raised to x into this entire. So, u into v. So, here I will write, I will go for out here. e raised to minus x I will keep as it is. And entire this bracket I will uh, differentiate with respect to x partially. So, cos y is a constant. So, differentiation of x square is 2x. Then minus y square into cos y, purely y function constant. So, partial differentiation of constant with respect to x is what here? 0. So, minus 0 plus. So, 2y and sin y is a constant. 2y and sin y is a constant. And partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So, this is uh, we have kept u and v we have integrated differentiated plus. So, we will keep the bracket as it is that is x square cos y minus y square cos y plus 2xy into sin y and differentiation of e raised to minus x is out here minus e raised to minus x. So, this is be careful minus e raised to minus x it is. So, I will rewrite once again. So, therefore, ux will be e raised to minus x into 2x cos y 0 leave it plus 2y into sin y and here plus into minus is this will become minus sin so e raised to minus x again into the remaining in the bracket that is x square cos y minus y square cos y plus 2xy into sin y so this is our function ux means after differentiation we got ux so this ux will use it directly uh, now we will go for u with respect to y partially therefore now u of y is equal to so while doing with respect to y partially we have to treat uh, x as a constant so therefore e raised to minus x is a constant only we have to integrate inside, uh, we, only we have to differentiate inside things. So, x square is a constant. Uh, differentiation of cos y with respect to y is minus sin y. Then, so for this we need to go for product formula. Minus is there, put a bracket. Keep y square as it is. So, differentiation of cos y is minus sin y. Formula plus, keep cos y as it is. So, differentiation of y square is 2y. Then, plus... So, 2 and y is a constant, 2 and x is a constant, again product formula with respect to y, so there will put a bracket, keep y as it is, differentiation of sin is cos y, plus, so keep sin y as it is, differentiation of y with respect to y is 1, leave it. So, rearrange, rearrange, so u of y is equal to minus, e, uh, sorry, uh, e raised to minus x, then, minus x square sin y minus minus plus y square into sin y minus plus is minus 2y into cos y continue 
uh, then plus uh, plus here so 2xy into cos y so plus is plus is plus 2x into sin y so these are the partial derivative of what here ux and uy so i will give ux as 1 and uy as 2 so we'll use uh, the function f dash of z and apply will uh, apply the value of uh, u dash uh, uh, u, uh, u of x and uh, uh, u of y here just uh, check it so now consider our f dash of z is u x plus i times v x but we don't know the value of v x so v x we have to convert in terms of u y so by cr equation by cr equation v x is nothing but minus u y so therefore we will substitute in f dash of z so f dash of z will become u x minus i times u y so in this u x and u y so while substituting so put uh, because the terms are uh, big here so i'll put x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 and write directly what is ux and what is uy so by referring uh, ux and uh, uy so in ux uh, you have to replace uh, x is equal to z y is equal to 0 because uh, ux and uy are very long here so that uh, it will be easy for the calculation so therefore i am writing here directly so f dash of z if you put ux uh, in ux if you put x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 so you will get the term as you will get a term as e raised to minus z into 2z plus z square into minus e raised to minus z you will get this is if you put x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 in ux what is ux you just see here so in this ux if you put z x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 you will find it is e raised to minus z into what here 2 times z plus 2 raised to uh, z raised to 2 minus times e raised to minus z we will get plus uh, sorry minus i times if you put uh, y is x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 in this uh, uh, ui that is in equation 2 you will get completely 0 okay so this will be easy for the simplification but you have to be careful then now f dash of z on simplification if you open the bracket and if you simplify so we'll get this one as 2z minus z square and e raised to minus z as a common so now we'll go for the integration because we go, we want f of z so on integration So on integration so we'll see so f dash of z will become f of z so integration of 2z minus z square into e raised to minus z dz so plus c so we'll go for the Bernoulli's rule of integration for this so in right hand side we'll apply Bernoulli's rule that is u and v so we'll keep as it is u as it is that is 2z minus z square this bracket will keep as it is integration of e raised to minus z is e raised to minus z divided by minus 1 actually okay then next formula minus so differentiation of 2z minus z square is 2 minus 2z into you carry 1 upon a minus 1 that is minus 1 i will carry integration of again e raised to minus z is e raised to minus z divided by minus 1 then again plus sign will come differentiation of 2 minus 2z will be minus 2 this minus 1 minus 1 you have to carry but uh, minus minus is plus so cancel leave it just you integrate e raised to minus z is e raised to minus z divided by minus 1 differentiation of minus 2 is 0 so stop it and close with plus c here now on simplification f of z is equal to this minus sign will take before so minus 2z minus e minus z square into e raised to minus z 
So minus minus plus plus into minus is minus. So here 2 minus 2 z of e raised to minus z minus into minus is plus plus into uh, plus is again plus. So 2 into e raised to minus z plus c. So again on final uh, arrangement. So if you simplify we can see that take e raised to minus z common. So what we have left this minus 2z minus minus is plus z square minus 2 minus minus plus 2z because e raised to minus z already have taken out so plus 2 e raised to minus z and this plus c as it is so we'll see uh, anything is going to be cancelled so minus 2z plus 2z cancel so e raised to minus z into so z square plus uh, sorry so here e raised to z will not come now e raised to minus z will not come okay so here what we have left so plus 2 minus 2 cancels so we are going to left with only what is this cancels plus 2 and minus 2 cancels so z square is left here so therefore our function f of z is z square e raised to minus z plus c which is an analytic function which is analytic function so in this way we need to construct a analytic function for the given real or imaginary part so here in this they have given real part 